I'm Gavin Davis, I'm farm manager here at Stoll Farms, which is a mixed farming estate in Wiltshire. We farm 450 dairy cows, we have 1500 ewe flock and we farm about 1800 acres of arable crops and a, and a bit of contracting and, and the like on the side. Um, in addition we have our half a megawatt AD plant uh, which has been operational since uh, about September 2012. I arrived at the business in 2007, at which point the dairy unit was really uh, on its last legs. So we started looking towards how we'd um, take that forward and uh, we, we had plans to build the unit we're standing in. Uh, and it was at that point, at the planning phase, we started looking at the slurry storage on that unit. And I was introduced to the idea of AD, which uh, we investigated further and felt would have a uh, would be a good opportunity for us, especially with our ability to grow the sort of crops it would require as well. So we uh, we decided to put an AD plant along with the new dairy unit here, uh, built it at the same time, and we went uh, live with it in September 2012. Broadly, uh, the plants run today pretty much as it was from day one. Really, we're still using the same mix of feedstock. Um, we probably introduced a little bit more rye. Um, to the mix. Uh, originally it was predominantly maize, now it's probably about 65% maize um, out of the crop that we grow. We feed similar quantities, we've got a few more cows here now than when we first started so there's a little bit more slurry going in as well but broadly it's the same as it's always been and, it, and we find that sort of consistency and maintaining that has been very good for us. Clearly we built this at a time when the dairy industry was not, not too bad, the milk price was pretty good, it's slid quite a long way since then. Um, and at the moment it's a very challenging time for us in the, in the dairy industry. And whilst we treat all of the enterprises separately, um, and we would look at the AD in isolation, it's certainly helping us through these, these difficult times. I do feel um, maybe milk price rises are uh, around the corner and perhaps we can uh, look forward to better times to come, but I, I think we have to be prepared for quite a volatile situation. And the good thing with the AD is it provides us a good consistent income that just helps us smooth out those issues. Throughout the time we've been running the plant, we've maintained a very good relationship with Envitech. Uh, we utilise the service engineers to do a lot of our um, routine maintenance and, and give us back up. We have telephone access to them as well, which you know frequently minor issues on farm we can deal with if we've got that support. We use the, the biological service as and when we need to. Our systems are quite consistent, so um, we don't have great difficulties in that regard, but it's nice to have, again, her backup. And again, somebody we can bounce ideas off if we get opportunities to change things or we want to you know, push things in a different direction, we've got people we can speak to. Over the four years that we've been running the plant, um, the output has exceeded expectations along with the profitability and the ease of use has, has also exceeded our expectations. So on the whole, the, the project has been very successful and we'd certainly do the same again.